All right, guys, for episode three, we are at my local Academy Sports, and we're gonna go and check out, see what EDCs um, and survival gear they have this week, so stick with me. So for three weeks in a row, I have found plastic cutlery, and this is kind of interesting because three-piece set, but unlike the one from Walmart, it's $2.99, which is much more pricey. So you could get, you could probably cut out almost your entire family for three or four dollars instead of just getting one set. And as far as the quality goes, they feel roughly the same. They don't feel any different. So keep that in mind when you're. Um, looking for shopping always comparison shop between different deals like I did in the last episode but also uh, check between stores too so this is another interesting uh, EDC tool it's called the doohickey it's supposed to be a key tool it's a ruler wrench carabiner <laughs> uh, bottle opener box cutter and screwdriver so it's pretty neat but it's $3.99 at night eyes and there's like a whole pack you can literally just pick them all up so this is something I'll probably bring to my channel to check out. So this is interesting. It's oh, by yeah. Smith & Wesson under the Taylor Brands umbrella. But it's a tactical pin light, self-defense tool, and a flashlight. So this is pretty darn interesting. Uh, two AAA batteries, so very common batteries. But I'd be interested to see how this does. But it comes batteries included, and that's not a bad deal considering it's only $16.99. So this is actually a decently solid find. It's a 10 by 12 tarp, good for personal use, pretty much only, but 10 bucks. It's not bad. It's good for shelters, getting stuff covered up, put, leaving yourself out of the elements when you need to most. This is something that truly makes me happy. The mini folding shovel, it's by Magellan Outdoors. It's pretty cool, very similar to the folding one that I showed off. I like this a lot. Well, it makes me the most happy. Five ninety nine. dollars nearly half the price of the one that I saw at Walmart, which is freaking incredible. This is really cool, really nice compact kit. I'm definitely gonna be picking this up in the future. So, this is kind of interesting. Um, I put this in the Baco Laplander folding saw category, just kind of giving you a different method of holding it, more in a comfortable pushing motion, but it was literally right above shelf, but 20 bucks. Not too bad, it's right on the price range of the Baco Laplander. So this is pretty interesting. It's not just camp patch it. Nice and solid actually. But what I like about it is it's not overpriced like a lot of them. However, at 13 bucks, I definitely want to test this out to see if it's if it merits being a really good steal or just happens to be a cheap piece of tool. However, just by keeping it in my hand it feels very solid. Construction doesn't look half bad. So this is something in the very near future you'll see a lot of. As you guys all know, I like fire starters. So this one I'm interested in because it is one-handed design, designed to take the entire uh, system and push it down and creates the friction for you. But it's not badly priced at only 10 bucks. Having a good water filter is absolutely essential. But for people who are trying to drink more water and you'll have an ability to have an emergency system already with you in your everyday carry kit this is freaking amazing. So having a life straw already built into the water bottle you're drinking out of is freaking sweet. It's a little pricey at 30 bucks, but in the manner of not having running water typically and you're gonna have to do something in emergency, this seems like a pretty darn good deal to me. So this is an interesting find that I've never actually seen before. It's by Shrade, but you get a small little EDC pocket knife, a multi-tool, and a three function keychain and some other stuff. That's pretty nifty. But it's only 20 bucks. You get a bunch of stuff for not a lot of money. All right, so I'm back from my trip to Academy for the third episode of my survival gear and EDC shopping at local retail shops here in San Antonio. And this is what I picked up. It's the Dookie Key. Now, I was planning on actually picking up quite a bit more because as you could tell, I was there was a lot of things that actually perked my interest like the mini shovel and the hatchet was pretty cool not very highly priced and i mean let's let's face it if i had every single week if i had two three four hundred dollars to spend i would be just doing I, this would be a full-time job for me and sadly it's not yet but 
still outdoor outdoor gear, knives, survival stuff, EDC. It just gets my biscuits burning, and I love it. So, but one of the reasons why I did was so light on the shopping is because I just got this in the mail um, from Trevax. Uh, they contacted me, and I'm not going to get into it too much because it's going to get its own review, but they sent me a wallet. I've already looked at it, but it's pretty darn cool. It's a nice EDC wallet. Very cool. I'm very excited about that. It's called their Element, if I'm not mistaken. So you guys can already do a little bit of perusing on your uh, on your own about that. I'll put a link in the description box below for the Trayvax wallet. So you guys can check that out if you'd like. But um, definitely going to throw this on my EDC rotation and kind of do that. Because I haven't updated my EDC in quite a while. But I think I have about seven or eight new items that are uh, really nice to be able to test out and really uh, spin around that rotation for you. But uh, that does it for now. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks, as always, for tuning in to my channel each and every week. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Liking the videos uh, definitely do a whole lot, and so is sharing them. I appreciate all the input and comments you guys have been throwing in lately. It's done a lot of good for um, giving me some helpful information, and I appreciate hearing back from you guys every single uh, time I put out a new video. So with that said, I'm out.